A few days ago I made a video about the minimalist approach to photography when you're out traveling. Um, based on that, on that video, I'm doing another video now. And there's three things I'm going to use while I'm making this video. I'm going to use my Insta360 solely. Now, I know it's not in my hand because I'm videoing it with it at the moment, but pretend it's there. Um, and with that I'm going to have the selfie stick, the invisible selfie stick, because the, the camera doesn't work very well without the selfie stick. You need the selfie stick. I'm going to use my little Zoom N... Uh, sorry, H1N for doing the audio because the audio on the uh, Insta360 is not fantastic and I like good audio so I'm using that and then when I get back home the only other thing I'm going to use is the iPad. Now some of the things I like about this cracking little camera is it's so versatile. While I'm um, talking to the camera and making this video, I can also be shooting my, my B-roll. Um, all I need to do is run the, um, run the clip through a second time and, hang on, just watch out for these. It's run the clip through a second time and then um, make a recording of the opposite direction or the direction I want to make my b-roll in so at the moment while I'm driving I can be videoing myself plus I can be videoing out the windscreen which makes two separate videos so uh, I can have the a-roll of me talking and the b-roll about the windscreen the other thing I can do is I can do my time lapse so I can make a time lapse while I'm driving so it's not quite so boring watching me driving down these uh, <laughs> boringly empty roads at the moment. So the camera is really, really versatile and we're going to get into that a little bit more when I get into Clumber Park where I like doing my photos and my videos and things like that. So uh, let's see how things go and I'm going to do a bit of the old B-roll at the moment as we're driving down the road. So we're coming into one of my favourite places for photography now, this is uh, Clumber Park. Oh, I forgot to mention, with the zoom, I've obviously got a little lapel mic. Uh, just cut down on wind noise and make my audio a little bit better. <laughs> Do you know, I'd walk out without shoes if my feet didn't get cold. So here we are in Clumber Park. I better get my membership card out now. Otherwise, they're going to want me to pay. Here comes a man with the uh, little dodgy redo to uh, scan my card. Cheers. There you go, young man. There you are. Thanks Thank a you. Lot. Ta da. Quite a nasty speed bump here, so just take it gentle over there. That's it, and off we go again. Here we are now. We're just coming up to the next, um, the next payment booth. But because I've already paid, I'll just show them this little thing, and they let me straight through. Awesome, isn't it? I think it's about fifty pound a year membership. And uh, you know that sounds a bit expensive, but it's not. It's not that bad when you come <laughs> when you come to Columbia as often as I do. And uh, I'm a what you'd call a not a frequent flyer, but a frequent visitor. I'm here all the time. And the reason for that is it's absolutely awesome. It's uh, it's beautiful down here. So let's get as close to the lake as we can and then we'll go and do some some videoing and I'll show you what I mean about this camera, all the little things that we can do. And then when I've done enough videoing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, 
I'm going to go back and edit it all on my iPad Pro. So like I say, everything will be done on three things. The Zoom, the Instant 361X, and uh, on my iPad. Right, let's find a nice parking spot. And that's it, we're in. Hi. Oh, mate, can I have a black coffee, please? Yep. That's £2.80, I'll give them, please. £20. So one of the good things about this camera is, A, I've got my coffee, and B, while I'm walking around, I'm videoing myself, but I'm getting my B-roll. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, like a video lock on the clock tower, and I'm videoing that at the same time. So it's, a, it's all good stuff. And then I'm going to sit down, drink my coffee, and do a bit of a time lapse, I think. Here I've just done a, a quick 10 second, 360 degree time lapse video. I think it's quite effective. Well, I've just seen something that uh, I'm going to be attacked by a swan here. Got nothing for you, mate. I've just seen something I haven't seen for a long time. Somebody actually shooting film instead of dig digitally. And I haven't seen that in in many, many a year. But, uh, to each their own. Right, so I'm going to have a walk down the edge of the lake, take in the scenery and things, have a look at the church and see what's happening. And like I say, the beauty of this is I don't have to frame a shot. I do that when I'm uh, I do that when I'm back home and I do it on my iPad and I can frame all my shots up on my iPad and I can take multiple videos and things just from one shot. So uh, it does make life a little bit easier. I think this camera is going to be my, uh, I think this camera is going to be my go-to camera for uh, an action camera. Uh, and for vlogging and just generally walking around and taking a video obviously alongside the the zoom for the audio but yeah this is what I'm going to be using I think so let's go and see if we can get any unusual shots as we're walking around one of the great things about this little camera is a stability. Um, I'm walking at the moment and uh, this this camera, the software in the camera just makes everything, because it's a 360, just makes everything really really smooth and stable. I um, don't know what it's like if I run. Not really into running, not anymore, but we'll just try a bit of a jog. See what that's like. I'm starting to lose my trousers. That will do. I'm going to pull my trousers back up or else I'm going to get arrested. I knew I should have put a belt on this morning or at least braces. That's better. And as you can see, if you just want this camera for vlogging, it's a, it's a cracking little vlogging camera. I just want a couple more shots while I'm out and then we're going to head back to the iPad and start doing a bit of processing on the uh, Insta app on my 
iPad and then we're going to get it all onto LumaFusion make the video get it up to uploaded to uh, YouTube and then you can tell me what you think about it I don't know what I think about it at the moment because I've not done it but we'll soon see all I've done on this clip is um, put the Insta360 on the invisible selfie stick and just walked and I'm walking over the bridge at uh, the Ford in the, in the middle of Clumber Park and as you can see with the rails on either side it looks quite effective and it's pretty cool and on the next clip all I've done is um, stuck the clip oh so, sorry stuck the invisible stick over my shoulder and walked back over the bridge once again it looks pretty cool and then I've just done another quick 10 second time lapse showing you how beautiful Clumber Park is so enjoy That's about finished doing my videos, walking out and about, a couple of photographs and uh, one of the old bullet time thingies, whatever they do. <laughs> I'm not very technical, am I? I've done a bullet time and I've done a, I've done a couple of photos. So um, what I'm going to do now is head back home, plug everything into the iPad and crack on processing. And... I'll see you when I get home and show you the results. Hopefully some of them are going to be okay. Hopefully some of them are going to be good as well. Okay, so I'm back home. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to get on my iPad and I'm going to start um, going through all the videos that I've taken and I'm going to download the ones that I want and then we're going to edit them. Oh, good fun so far, isn't it? Everything so far has been done on this little camera and everything will be done on this little camera all the way through. So, I'll crack on and we'll get it done. So, I've downloaded all the videos uh, from the Insta360 One X. God, what a long name, but never mind. We'll just call it the Insta360. Uh, it's now been downloaded onto my iPad. And I'm now going to start editing all the clips that I want. I'm afraid the editing is going to take... Uh, <laughs> The editing is going to take quite a while, so I'm going to crack on with it, uh, and then once it's done, I'm going to come back and I'm going to give you my honest opinion on what I think of the video quality, the sound quality. Um, if the sound quality is really good, actually, I'm not going to use the zoom at all. Uh, I may just use the zoom for some of the outside shots, if it's good enough for while I'm indoors or while I'm in the car. Um, then I'll not bother. Just so you can see what it's like. So I'm going to get all the editing done. And then I'm going to come back. And I'm going to give you my honest opinion on what I think to it. And then uh, I'm going to get it uploaded. See you in a little bit. Well that's it. Video complete. Everything's been done on the Insta360. I'm not going to give it its full name of the Insta360 One X. Because it's too bloody long. But uh, that's it. Everything done. Um, like I say, I'm absolutely thrilled with the uh, video quality and everything, considering uh, it's a £400 camera and not a uh, £1,000 or a £1,500 camera. I'm absolutely over the moon with it. Um, let me know what you think. If there's anything that you like about it, let me know. If there's anything you don't like about it, please let me know. And hopefully I will see you in the next video. Uh, please give it a thumbs up. Please share, please subscribe somewhere, um, anyway, at the bottom where the little bell is. Please subscribe and hopefully I will see you in the next video. See you all later everybody. Bye.